Hey guys, a lot of people asked me to make a macro guide, so here it is. So let's start with my bash macro. So when I hold down shift, it bashes my focus target and when I don't hold down shift, it bashes my current target. And I binded it on G. Let's head over to my cat form macro. Um, when I'm not in a form, like right now, in night elf form, <laughs> or something like that, and I cast this macro, it gets me into cat form. But when I'm already in cat form and I use this macro, it just shapeshifts, and I'll demonstrate it. As you can see, it just goes out of cat form, but straight back into cat form. So it's really good to remove roots like this. And I binded it on T. Uh, here's my cyclone macro, when I hold down shift, it cyclones my focus target and when I don't hold down shift, it cyclones my current target and I binded it on V This is my dash macro and it removes stampeding roar first because you can only cast dash when stampeding roar is removed so if you need to use dash right after you used stampeding roar, use this macro um, these are my two dispel macros, one for Cardoop, my healer, and one for Spoofy, my other teammate. And with this macro, you can dispel hexes and wither stings by hunters. Uh, I binded the one for Cardoop on Alt E and the one for Spoofy on Shift E. Here we have my Focus Roots macro. It's quite simple. And I binded it on shift 1 on my Razor Naga. And by the way, I forgot to say where I binded my dash. It's on my uh, Razor Naga on 5. Here we have my Healing Touch macro. And it first casts Nature Swiftness into a Healing Touch on myself. So if I'm in trouble and uh, I need to heal myself because my healer is in a CC, I can use this and it heals for like. 65 to 70k but when it crits it crits for like 140k so it's pretty good and I binded it on F4 and this is my innervate macro it costs innervate on care dude but in mist of pandaria it doesn't give you that much mana anymore it's like uh, 5k I think I'm not even sure so I removed it from my action bar since I could use my binds for something uh, for something else. Here's my uh, macro for a NS clone on my current target. And I binded it on control V. So my normal clone is on V, my focus clone is on shift V, and my NS clone on my current target is control V. Here I have my NS hibernate macro and uh, it's it's a really good macro, so let's say you face a Resto Shaman and some people actually don't know this, but when a Resto Shaman goes into Ghost Wolf you can hibernate him and it's an extra CC for 8 seconds which is really good, but when you don't have your proc ready um, it's totally worth it to use Nature Swiftness for it, so this NS hibernates your focus target and you can also use it on Resto Druids who are in Trap Form, Cat Form or Bear Form and this is my one shot macro I'd say. It starts with Taiki Shuri because you cannot use Taiki Shuri when Berserk is active so you need to have Taiki Shuri above Berserk. Um, it's followed up by Nature's Figure which increases my damage done by 20%. Followed up, my, followed up by my Agility Trinket. Uh, it's on my slot 14. So if you use 14 as well be sure to have your agility on you shrink it in the second slot. Um, followed up by my incarnation so I can spam Ravage. And I binded it on X here. Um, this is my pounce macro. And uh, when you would face an enemy who's in stealth as well, you can spam this macro and once you find him, it will instantly pounce it. And I Binded it on control 2. This is my school bash macro. 
uh, when I hold down shift it school bashes my focus target and when I don't hold down shift it school bashes my current target and I binded it on D. This is my stampeding roar macro it's basically the same as my dash macro but then the other way around so it's actually not the same but <laughs> still uh, it first removes dash into stampeding roar and I binded it on F5 uh, here's my thrash macro um, I made a guide about it like one week ago and this macro allows you to go into beer form but I added thrash to it so if I press it twice it goes into beer form without a global cooldown and then instantly thrashes and thrash is really good because it doesn't AOE debuff on all the targets and it reduces the physical damage done by 10% so it's really good versus melees and I binded it on shift F3 uh, because my normal beer form is, is on F3 so um, this is a good macro as well. It first cancel forms and then uh, uses wild charge on Cardu, my healer. So when we, when we would face a hunter, and um, let's just fight this guy. To a raid real quick. Cover to raid. So um, when I would use this on my healer. When uh, he gets scatter shot, uh, I instantly leap towards him, and I can take the trap really easily. So it's a good macro. And I really recommend to use it. Here's my travel form macro. It's uh, the same as my cat form, but then with travel form. When I'm not in any form, it just uses travel form, as you can see. But when I'm already in travel form it shapeshifts straight back to travel form so when you need to escape uh, just for example from cat form you're going to sh uh, from cat form you're going to travel form and when you root it you can just use the same macro again and it removes the root and I binded it on shift T I forgot to say this uh, my trap I binded it on shift 2 on my nega uh, my general makers, I don't think there's any interesting things here. Well, this is quite handy. Uh, let's remove the buff here. So, it first causes Mark of the Wild and instantly mounts up. So, as you can see, buffs Mark of the Wild and instantly mounts up. So, that's really good. I hope you enjoyed watching and hopefully see you in my next videos. Bye.